we were surfing yesterday, Dorothy and her friends in the shallow waters of Hawaii, and there was a big old shark. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna tell you what happened and then I can try to figure out a way to uh, make sense of all of this. So, we are going out to surf. It is me, Dorothy, and a couple of Dorothy's friends. And as we're walking down the beach, all of a sudden a wave comes and washes up this big dead fish onto the beach. Oh my God! Oh my gosh, oh my God. So the girls are all like excited, like, wow, look at this fish. And all of a sudden another wave comes and in that wave, inches deep of water, in that wave is a big old shark. You're okay. The girls are going nuts, just screaming. I have a GoPro on the edge of my surfboard, so I hurry and snag it and start filming this big shark in just inches of water. I've never seen a shark in this area where we surf. Let alone, I'm, I've never seen a shark in anywhere in the world in that shallow of water, but the water would wash up and the shark would whip around trying to get this dead fish and then it would go back into the water and then the next wave would come and it would whip up trying to get it. Meanwhile, the girls are screaming. Everyone else on the beach is like cleared out. Dorothy comes up to me and she says, we can still surf, right? And I'm looking at her like, what? You still wanna surf? You are looking at this big old shark right in front of you and you wanna go out and surf? Honestly, at that point, I didn't know what to make of it because here we are as parents having taught our kids from the very early on age of like respect wildlife, admire wildlife, especially sharks with their negative reputation. like. Sharks are nice. And so I, I think I said something to Dorothy along the lines of, look, I would love to take you surfing right now, but we've got your friends and their parents aren't here. And so it'd probably be for the best if we didn't surf right now. And she was just down and sad. Well, everyone else is like freaking out about the shark. She's just, this girl wanted to go surf. How are you gonna go surfing right now? Uh, I didn't know. What, you wanted to? And so I think I told her something along the lines of, you know what, it's also really tough because right now with these waves here in the shallow end, it's really murky. And so the shark, it wouldn't purposely come and wanna eat you a human, but it's so murky that maybe it would accidentally not be able to see you clearly enough and it would maybe accidentally bite you. And I don't want that to happen. And so we better head back. Cause sharks wouldn't want to uh, eat people, but see how it's kind of murky? And the shark can't see very well. So we go back to the house. The kids go running in to tell the parents about this big shark that we had seen. Ah! We got a dead fish. It's a shark! Oh no way! We saw a shark and a dead fish. Made a ride. He caught a dead fish and it came for the shark. We saw a shark, Manila. So the commotion is still going on. I remind you, the sun is going down. Beautiful sunset. I personally decided to go out and surf. And even I, I'll admit, when I was paddling out, <laughs> I was just, just the fingertips in the water, the most shallow paddle out I've ever done in my life. Oh. 
And then I'd get out there and catch a few beautiful waves. But even when I would fall off my board, I'd fall off my board and shoom, I'd ride back onto my board faster than usual. Sharks in the waters, guys. <laughs> And I just remember getting tumbled by a wave, getting back up to my board, and all of a sudden I hear, Hey, Dad. I look over, and there's Dorothy. It was just the weirdest feeling of like, Girl, what are you doing out here? But also being like, Oh my goodness, I'm proud of this brave girl. But also, what have I done as a parent? Oh my gosh, like, have I put you in danger? Good, I'm so happy to come back. And I, it's hard to talk about because I don't even know what the right answer is here. I truly believe that sharks are misunderstood. They're beautiful creatures, but goodness, do they deserve our respect. Not our fear, but our respect. And you gotta know them and you gotta understand them. And uh, I just remember Dorothy saying to me, well, I mean, you said it would, it would be murky, but when I looked at where you were surfing out deeper in the bigger waves, it seemed much more clear. So we're safe, right? I was like, Dorothy, you're amazing. I said, let's, let's catch a, one more good wave together. And then let's paddle in. It's getting kind of dark. And I think mom's got dinner ready. And so we did. Yeah, girl. I don't know, I've got such mixed emotions about it. The proud dad in me is just thinking like, goodness, we have raised this girl, right. But the truth is, it's, it's just within Dorothy. Dorothy is an incredible girl. What's the moral of the story here? Dorothy is amazing. I learn more from her than she does from me. All right, Dorothy, you're next. All right, Manel you're next. First, right, before Tyler gets there. Oh. All right, Tyler Bean, you're next. More kids, or is this too much? Just too much. No, a more. Too much. A more. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy here. Mommy. Yeah. Dorothy. Yeah. Vanilla. Here. Sally. Yeah. Ah.